Good morning, everybody. Welcome to um, my class on statistical inference as it is. Now, please take note. In today's class, we'll be looking at two items to conclude. We'll be looking at two, two major discussions to conclude our first topic, which was the introductory topic on um, statistical inference. Particularly, we were looking at statistical data, right? So, what we did not discuss in the last class was how to collect, that is collection of what? Statistical data. We had explained what statistical data means. So, we are taking several notes on certain items under statistical data. So, we were left with these two. Collection of statistical data and interpretation of statistical data. Okay, so this will be the this will be the focus of today's class. Okay, now from our next meeting, we'll go into concrete parts of this particular lecture. Now let's focus on concluding this. So let's start with collection of what? Collection of Statistical data. So, before we discuss this, before we discuss this, let's um, have a quick recap. Do you remember that in the last class we said that we collect statistical data from a place called a field? Do you remember that? I believe I said that in my last class, right? And I also told you that aside the fact that you collect statistical data from a place called a field, Aside that, the second thing I told you is that any data that is obtained directly from the field is considered as being what? Raw. Do you understand me? And by raw, we mean that that data is unprocessed. Is it clear? The reason why we refer to such a data as being raw is because it is unprocessed. If you want to come down a little bit from the language unprocessed, it means that it's un it is unorganized. And that's why, if you remember, we discussed the definition of statistics as an embodiment of four processes that are sequential in nature. Number one being the what? The collection of statistical data. Number two being what? The organization stroke description of what? Statistical data. Number three being what? The analysis, right? Of statistical data. And number four being what? The interpretation of statistical data. Now, what we want to do here is not to elaborately discuss all these items. It is just for the students to know what we mean when we say you are to collect statistical data. It is for the student to know that these four items that make what we call statistics, statistics, are um, with different meanings, and these are their meanings. So when we say we are collecting statistical data, what do we actually mean? More so, under this um, subtopic, statistical, uh, collection of statistical data, do you know what we really want to emphasize? What we want to emphasize are the means. What methods are available for collecting what? Statistical data. Is it clear? So we are going to mention several of them. There are so many, but we are going to mention several of them and then discuss them briefly. Is it clear? Before moving on to what? Interpretation of what? Statistical data. Let's start with collection of statistical data. There are, please you may write, there are several methods. There are several methods available for collecting statistical data. There are several methods available for collecting statistical data. Some of them, some of them are one, the use of questionnaires. The use of questionnaires, also called a survey instrument. Okay, so one method of collecting statistical data is with the use of what we call what? 
questionnaires. Is it clear? There are several methods for what? Available for collecting statistical data, right? The first out of all of them is what? The usage of questionnaires. Also regarded as what? A survey instrument. Is it clear? Now, there are others, so let's mention them. Number two, you could have a, a what do you call it? Oral, the use of oral interview. The use of oral interview. Oral interview is another means for getting what? Data. Okay? Statistical data. Oral interview is another means for getting statistical data. Move that stuff to this section that you can have. You can be free. No, 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 no just move here. So, so oral interview is another means for what? Obtaining what? Statistical data. I'm going to explain them in detail. Is it clear? Now, number three is the use of readings. The use of readings from an experimental process. The use of readings from an experimental process. The use of readings from an experimental process is also another means for what? Collecting statistical data. Another one is with the use of um, the use of telephone telephone stroke, mobile phone Interview stroke survey. Interview stroke survey. Now, I believe that you must have come across all of these. Probably may not, you may not know that what you were doing was one of them or using was one of them. Huh? So, these are different means of obtaining what? Statistical data. Now, a, third, a, a fifth one I would want to add is observation. The use of um, observation. The use of observation. So these are five methods for collecting what? Data. There are more. So I'm going to put comma, etc. Let's start with Questionnaire. Before we even go into questionnaire, please let's let let me make this remark. The means, the means of collecting, the means of collecting statistical data, <laughs> statistical data mentioned above, mentioned above. are only a select few out of several available means. Are only a select few out of several available means. Full stop. Their usage, their usage is usually dependent dependent on factors such as factors such as the nature of the survey stroke investiga investigation the nature of the survey stroke investigation to be carried out. Proximity. Proximity of the um, of the respondents. Proximity of the respondents. Availability of the respondents availability of the respondents
sensitivity sensitivity of the investigation etc full stop for the second um, remark i am saying that is this i'm saying that all the means we have mentioned huh? all these means we have mentioned please take note everybody it is not i don't want you to see it as if i don't use questionnaire i would use oral interview if i don't use oral interview i would use experimental uh, uh, readings from experimental process if i don't use this one i'll use that one i don't want any of you to see that in that way that's number one do you know why the reason why you shouldn't see it that way that is if you see it that way you will start to think that survey instrument that is questionnaire is the best method there's nothing like a best method rather there is something called a preferred method you get me each of them depends on the circumstance and so many other factors prompting their use. Let me give you an instance. See, if, for example, you are carrying out a research, the research is such that you would have to, uh, for those of us in statistics, what we usually do, one of the projects we usually tell our students to carry out is to use, to apply a concept in a particular course called quality control to factories what factories produce in that sense see what usually happens now if you observe have you let me just mention certain things you may have been observing but may not pay attention to have you ever bought tom tom and you see two inside one one pack or see one and a half inside one pack or see sometimes you see nothing but it is sealed it also applies to chewing gum have you ever experienced that now even biscuits right have you also noticed that when you buy 50 CL drinks of Coca-Cola produced in Nigeria or Fanta or the rest of them, you will see one very full, one incompletely full. Have you seen that? Now, all those inconsistencies are coming directly from the factory when they are filling those bottles or packaging those things. Now, one, one project that undergraduate students in statistics would usually embark on is what they call quality control analysis. Do you understand me? Where we would require the student to go to the factory where such uh, products are produced and observe the production process, get data from the production process, and then use the data for analysis so as to be able to inform the personnel there that this process is within control or out of control and these are the things to reduce to eliminate such occurrences we experience in the public when we consume you understand me now in doing that you cannot tell the student to use if the student is to collect statistical data from such a process he shouldn't be using survey instruments alone you understand me survey instruments cannot be used to obtain statistical data from such a process the only thing survey instrument can do for you in that circumstance is to ask certain questions from the process personnel. But when it comes to getting the data itself, you would need to read the data from the meter. You understand? Because all these things that are produced, you will see certain readings. They, they produce them with machines. And those machines have certain what? Readings. You know, so just like your, uh, your pump, the pumping machine you have in a, a fuel or a filling station where it reads how many liters have been produced and how much equivalently those liters are in Naira. Is it not so? Now, so if you want to get data, statistical data from such a process, survey instrument is not the only or not the preferred option. Rather, you'll be going with what? A combination of this observation as well as what? As, le as well as what? Readings. Is it clear? Now, that will be the preferred method for getting data from such a process. Am I understood? Now, again, what if you want to now go to, um, uh, what do you call it? You, come, you go to a church and you want to carry out a survey that talks about the um, virginity of women. And you, you are a father to three girls. They sit in church and you now come into the church and say, good morning church. We are members of WHO and we are carrying out a research on 
uh, virginity of uh, what do you call it females below the age of 18 and you the man you have three daughters in church do you think your daughters even though they've lost their virginities when administered a questionnaire right in front of you eh, would open this would oh, the, the first question reads are you a virgin will your daughter any of your daughters Stick there, I am not. Eh? None of them, even when they are they are even when they are even older than 18, they won't be comfortable answering such a question in the presence of their parents or in the presence of people. Do you understand me? For that reason, there is another option that secures the privacy of the respondent. You answering or supplying the information, you are called a respondent. Do you understand me? So if, an, if a survey instrument is handed over to you, you responding, you are called what? Respondent. So to secure the privacy of the respondent, you won't be going with survey instrument. If you use a survey instrument, you will need to take those people, the respondents, to an isolated place where they will be comfortable and relaxed to give you such information. Do you understand me? If you are to use a survey instrument, and in that case, it could go. But you can't be using readings. How would you use readings? Do you want to tell them, okay, let's go to this way, spread your legs, and let's take readings? You can't. So, readings is not a preferred option in that instance. Do you understand what I'm saying? Also, the one that you should go with could be what? Oral interview. Which would also require you to take them away from that place because if you ask them in the midst of their parents, they won't answer or they will deny. It's just like asking them the same question. Another question apart from virginity could even be your HIV status. You in church, if we ask you, because of the stigma that will follow you immediately answer after you say what? Yes. Even if you don't have HIV or AIDS, as soon as you say it in public that I have, everybody will start greeting you for this. Good morning, sir. Those that used to shake you will not even want to shake you again. You understand me? So that stigma follows you as such. Even oral interview, except you take the respondents to an isolated place, a comfortable zone, they won't give you... Why do you think when you do... Um, have you ever gone for HIV, uh, uh, HIV AIDS testing? You will see the way they isolate you, and it will be one-on-one. -on -one. Is it not so? Now, the preferred method in that instance may be what? Telephone or, or mobile phone what? Interview. Where you will send the text message directly to the person. So that even if the person does not meet the test message, if he meets it later, he will reply. And as soon as he replies, he or she will do what? Delete. Is it not so? Or as soon as he or she answers that question, it is uploaded and nobody saw it apart from the person who responded. Is it clear? So what I'm saying in essence is that these methods depend on different what? Circumstances. Now, let us take a look at some of the circumstances. So we are saying that these means, the means of collecting statistical data mentioned above, are only a select few out of what several available means meaning that there are more than these ones we have what mentioned is it okay number two their usage is usually dependent on factors such as the nature of what survey you want to carry out which i've just explained two apart from the nature of survey you want to carry out proximity of the respondents now let's assume you are in nigeria but you want to investigate uh, uh, your investigation is about things happening in Europe. Social media has made it very easy, and the use of sophisticated mobile phones has made it easy for you to even carry out. I've been receiving emails from abroad concerning what different survey they will do. I don't know how they get my contact. I don't know if you've been experiencing such. You will just see a particular uh, um, interview in your in your email or in your phone. And they will ask you, you don't know where it's even coming from, but you just trust the process and, and respond. Now, if you want to carry out an investigation that pertains to people in Europe, but you are in Nigeria, in Africa, yeah, what will happen? Proximity means how far or how close the respondents are to you. You will start going to Europe to start administering the question. All you have to do is to use a means like this. Is it clear? So, Proximity is also another factor. Another factor is what? Availability of the respondent. Now, if you want to carry out a questionnaire, uh, um, you want to carry out a survey in a local government, eh? 
and you now start using survey instrument when everybody if you go to that local government in the morning in the morning people are in schools except you go to schools except you go to what uh what do you call it their place of work except you go to the markets where they have gone to you won't have all of them converge but the only time to have them converge in the area you are considering may be in the uh, in the evenings you understand me so another uh, uh, thing to consider in your choice of any of these method is what availability of what the respondent are they available another one to consider is sensitivity sensitivity is the one i just mentioned about hiv aids and all those things how sensitive the investigation is is it clear so you have to consider that also in your choice of any of these methods that being said let us now take them one after the other quickly let's start with them um, which one questionnaire so let's start with questionnaire A questionnaire may be seen as a set of structured questions called items. relating to a particular relating to a particular subject under investigation to be attended to by to be attended to by a group of individuals called respondents by a group of individuals called respondents okay so um let's go to what do you call it this means this means of collecting statistical data, statistical data is very effective, very effective under preferred circumstances, under preferred circumstances full stop then the next one is which one use of oral interview okay so before then please take note a questionnaire is often segmented is often segmented into multiple parts multiple parts say part a b c etc the first part the first part is usually on demographic demographic or social demographic characteristics characteristics of the respondents i'm going to explain of the respondents a questionnaire may contain may contain open ended open ended or close ended 
close-ended questions. Questions or even both. Okay? A questionnaire may contain what? Open-ended questions, close-ended questions, or even what? A, both of them. You may have open and close-ended questions in a questionnaire. Okay? Now, um, please, for a questionnaire, what we call social demographic, if they give you a questionnaire, I don't know if in your secondary school, someone ever, students, all these student uh, teachers you, uh, came to your secondary school at any point in time, such that they gave you questionnaires to, to attempt. Now, if they are giving you a questionnaire to attempt, you will notice that one part of their questionnaire, which is the, um, the first part, would want to know your, know your age or your sex or so on. That part is usually called the demographic or sociodemographic what? Part, which requires your characteristics, okay? So a questionnaire usually comprises several parts, including that part, the first part, okay? And even before the first part in a questionnaire, you would usually have what is called an introduction where the, the researcher would introduce his or herself to the respondents. Huh? Now, let's move to, the next one is what? Oral interview. Oral interview. Now, the questionnaire may be seen as a non contact uh, process of obtaining or a non-contact method, rather, of obtaining um, statistical data, it may be seen as a non-contact process. What it means is that once you administer the, quest the, the questionnaire to the person, you don't get, the, the person will just do his thing. Isn't that so? The person will do his or her thing. But in oral interview, you don't give anything to the person to start answering. You'll be the one to be asking and getting answers. Do you understand me? So it's a contact process in, uh, in some form. So the questionnaire may be seen as a non-contact method of obtaining statistical data. However, however, in oral interviews, a researcher, a researcher or investigator remains part of the interview process. Interview process guiding the respondents from start to finish. from start to finish, on a set of questions targeted at addressing a subject under investigation. So if somebody is carrying out an investigation, for example, let's assume that a particular boy as they are playing ball here, yeah, a particular boy was stabbed or was shot to death and everybody ran, a, ran away, but they didn't run too far. The police now comes to the environment or the press comes to the environment and will start, you will see, you will usually see, uh, what do you call it? What do you call these guys? Uh, people from media. When they come around to cover that news, they will, they will start asking people within the environment, what really happened? Is it not so? They will be the one, they will be a part of the interview process, guiding you on questions they would want answers to, and you you'll be providing the responses. You know, is it not so? So in such a process, ah, what really happened here? You say, ah, we were just playing ball, and I was watching them play ball, and all of a sudden, that guy, the guy that uh, uh, was killed or the guy that was stabbed, started having an argument with another boy who has run away. And presumably the boy was the one who removed the gun 
and, and shot him or stabbed him with a knife and blah, 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 blah. You understand that kind of thing? That is an interview process. Now, in an interview process, a set of questions that are targeted at what? Addressing a subject under investigation will be asked. You get me? By the interviewer. So that person asking you is the interviewer and you will be the what? The one responding, the respondent. Is it clear? So it is different from a questionnaire because in a questionnaire, you would only be administered the, the, the survey instrument and left to do your thing. But in an interview process, there is this contact between the interviewer and the what? The respondent. Guiding the respondent all the way. Now, the next one is which one? The use of what? Readings. Now, um, readings from an experimental process. Readings from an experimental process. This involves, this involves taking values, taking values at different, at different moments of an experimental activity. Of, of a machinery. that takes records of values for factors influencing the process. Influencing the process. For readings from an experimental process, it just simply means taking values of a particular machinery, okay? And using the, the, the data you get for the activity. So, we are going to stop there in this particular class until we meet some other time, okay?